All right, what's going on, folks? This is Matt here for Dark One Linux Tech and Gaming, where this is Fusion of Linux Technology and Gaming. We're going to be talking about the problem with tech YouTubers no one's talking about. So what is the problem with tech YouTubers that no one wants to talk about? Their point of reference for what budget is, is fucking fucked and skewed to beyond belief. So what do I mean by that? We'll use this as an example just because it's the newest thing that I can think of off the top of my head. The Google press conference that came out about the, the Pixel Fold. From a technology point of view, cool, Google's getting into foldables. Do we really hear much about the Pixel 7a, which is the budget thing? No, we hear about the $1,800 fucking device. What do we hear about when it comes to reviews? Oh, or hands-on. What do we hear about? Oh, we hear about the fucking $1,800 fucking dollar device. What do we see when we uh, hear about the ROG, I'm sorry, ROG Ally, ROG Ally, Republic of Gamers Ally device in comparison to the Steam Deck? Oh, it's only $300 more. Well, you're going to spend $100 between the a SD card and maybe an internal upgrade if you go buy the base device $50 at a time at my leisure. That's the difference. People live in a 40 to 60 price bracket. As far as 40K or 60K, most consumers live in that bracket. So they're anywhere from three grand a month to, you know, four grand a month, give or take. And where their pricing is and structuring is on everything else currently, do you seriously think? that a $300 difference isn't a big fucking deal. I love the, the point of reference for shit. I do. It's not even about access. I don't give a shit that they have access to this stuff. Cool. I don't even give a shit that they, they review it. Cool. It's tech. I love seeing the new shiny. It's all the subsequent tech stuff that they do as it relates to this stuff. So what we'll see as an example, oh, they'll get a ROG Ally with a, what is it, the XD mobile dock. Okay, cool. So now I'm at a $1,400, I'm sorry, $1,500 price point. Yeah, that's budget. Like their point of reference for what budget is for most consumers is fucked because they don't actually live in the budget end of the sphere because they have access to all the other shit. So when they do budget builds and everything else, they're not budget builds. They're not bang for buck mentality. They're, they're not looking for deals. As an example, I have a fucking $2,200 laptop. It's a Gigabyte Aero. I think it was an XE4, if I remember correctly. i7, 12th gen, 3070 RTX, 16 gigs of RAM, yeah, 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 specs, whatever. 4K screen, etc. I did not spend $2,200 on a fucking machine because I am not a fucking idiot. And I am not going to do that from a financial point of view. When I say I'm not being an idiot financially, I'm not being an idiot. And most people are going to live in that sphere. But because we have these guys and these in fucking influencers pushing the super high end stuff all the fucking time, because it's the best bottom line for these companies. And that's all we see. That's all we hear about. That's all they talk about. When I watch a WAN show, I'm not sitting here looking at a fucking LG Graham that I'm going to spend fucking anywhere from $1,500 to $2,000 for an overinflated fucking thin Intel system that doesn't do jack shit when it comes to fucking GPU work. Like, that's the problem. But that's the type of system that they push. Or fucking other people will do similar. Like, and it's not about the fact that they have them or have access to them. It's the disconnect. And the optics that it presents when you're telling me what a budget system is. You don't live in the budget. So you wouldn't fucking know that it comes across as fucking disingenuous. And that's where I have a problem with it. So, yeah, okay. You want to do a budget build. Like the last one that I remember where uh, LTT did a comparable system to the Steam Deck, if I remember correctly. Cool, whatever. I can get behind something like that because you're not pushing, oh, you need a 3090 or a 4090 or whatever fucking overinflated GPU price NVIDIA or AMD is deciding to push. And that's good stuff. 
what I get tired of is seeing when you guys do a fresh build for, oh, I did a build for blah or X or Y or B person. And it's, oh, here's a 4070 that, you know, most people can't afford, but I'll give it to you. And, you know, all your benchmarks and all this other shit that you guys will do is just so disconnected from what most people can actually afford. While the general interest is going to be for the technology, obviously, there's a level of disconnect when it comes to what you guys understand as budget. Bruh, like budget. <laughs> like you, you all haven't shopped at five below for tech. <laughs> like that's the kind of budget most people are going to live in. Like seriously. So you guys want to talk about fucking budget machines and all this other stuff. Like the last budget machine, I remember Linus actually, and again, I'm not just shitting on LTT. I'm I'm MKBHD and all these other guys that do this shit. I'm not ragging on you for access. I'm ragging on you for subsequent content that is all about the super high end stuff. You know, I don't see you guys fucking doing a, a review of a cheap $170 laptop. The last one I remember seeing Linus doing was for a Walmart Motile 14 like three years ago. That was the last one I remember. Budget is very skewed and you guys have a fucked way of looking at what's budget. I know for me, I am not ever going to be in the budget mentality that you guys have. Access does not mean you guys understand what budget is. Look at insert $10,000 CPU here. Look at the next time you guys do a build and throw a 15, 16, 17, $1,800 video card in a machine that is a one-off, but it's budget. Your perspective on what budget is for most actual people to be able to afford shit is fucked. And you guys just don't want to admit it or actually ever look at it.